What's up guys? So, in this video, I kind of have a story for you. Alright guys, so as you guys know, the Dodge Avenger shares a lot of parts with the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Basically the whole front half of the car from about the front of the back seat forward is Mitsubishi Eclipse. They added about five inches and then added the rest of the Mitsubishi Eclipse in the back. They put different body panels on it of course but you can bolt on the Mitsubishi Eclipse stuff and it'll work. Uh, some modification required. The thing is, when I was on Facebook, I've been looking up parts for the Avenger and for an Eclipse. Well, I came across one heck of a deal and uh, I just couldn't pass it up. So, in the ad, it was a bunch of Eclipse parts. And we talked back and forth, and he decided to actually include a set of wheels. So, let me show you all the parts that we got. And, uh, thanks William. So, this is my messy basement to where all my parts are. There's my front crash bars, my rib nut set, my front crash bar, which is just composite material. We have our starter ready to go on. A lot of our intake and headlight components, battery tray. There's the old Super Cub. The super, the super Cub is down at the moment because uh, I have a, I have a cracked body panel. So that little guy. But we're fixing it, and we're gonna get it put back together. Uh, our alternator, miscellaneous hardware. So here's the wheels we got, which I think are pretty snazzy, and they're going to work just fine for what we're doing right now. Uh, in the future, I may not want to go with a chrome wheel, but these are a lot better than those steel looking wheels with the little black holes. Those just look dumb. We got a set of steel braided brake lines. I probably can't use this. It's a map sensor. Couple hard pieces. We got uh, some radiator hoses, which I think are gonna be just fine. Check this out. So this is a gauge cluster LED set. You put this in there and it lights up like an LED. It's by uh, Glowshift. We got a uh, oil pressure sensor. Fuel filter. A Spectra fuel pump. Full set of motor mounts. Uh, 4G 63 uh, front cover. I won't be able to use that, so if someone wants that, just let me know. Same with the couple of these motor mounts. I can't use the motor mount. Now here's an interesting little piece. A factory amplifier. Apparently it works. And uh, apparently it's worth a little bit of money. But if anybody wants one of these, just let me know. A steering wheel. 
also came with a hood. So this is the Eclipse hood. One hump on the driver's side as opposed to two humps for the Avenger. We also got a full suspension set that I think you guys are going to appreciate. Just in case anybody was wondering, left side, right side. That's what the pieces look like. Now, coming in the mail, they're not here yet. I have a full set of fog lights that will attach to these brackets here. I also have a set of wheel hubs coming. Now the coilovers, that's going to be uh, next paycheck. So here's our pile of Mitsubishi Eclipse parts that I absolutely will not be able to use. If anybody wants a wing, it's not very good condition, but I'd probably just give it to you. So yeah, there's our parts haul. Hopefully we get the Super Cub running before summer next year. It, the panel is plastic, so getting that fixed correctly is next to impossible and have it look good. So I may just have to show out about $300 and get it replaced. Uh, never transport without proper strapping. Also, if you notice, as we walk out to Pro Project War Machine and we pan to the right, Project Helenor is nowhere to be found. What happened to Project Helenor? Well, whenever we was going to get our parts for the Avenger, the uh, E4OD e transmission fully let go. Uh, there was grinding, there was smoking, there was no, no goey goey. Uh, so we're gonna have to get Project Helenor either a new transmission or rebuild what we got. The problem is I want to be able to film that stuff, but it's my daily and I got to get it done quick. So there may not be a video on getting it, getting it fixed, but don't worry. When this car is done, I'm still going to tear down Project Helenor and do a re restoration. I guess that's going to be it for this video, guys.